you know, raise your chin up, buttercup, dag nabbit. <laughs> Welcome to your April 2018 reading. I'll say the first half of April. That's my microphone over there being all creepy in the corner and whatnot. I hope that um, April has been treating you all well so far. Shout out to uh, my bestie out there that's a Virgo. Shout out to my homie girl. Kitty K free. <laughs> My fellow author buddy, who is also a Virgo. Ironically, both of them were born on the same day, which is also the day that Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans. Yeah, way to damper the mood, princess, All right? Let me think about Katrina. I'm gonna go ahead and tune into you guys' energy so we can get her done and see what it is that spirit has for you all. You've waited long enough, haven't you? Yes, you have. All right, are you ready? Ready, ready. How you guys doing? <laughs> I'm so ready to get into you guys' readings. <clears throat> the only person, well, group of people after my Virgo peeps is Leo. And um, <clears throat> you guys, I'm still trying to get through all of the emails. I apologize. I have quite a uh, a bunch of them, but um, I started my Shopify store today, and you're going to be able to um, book me for readings through that. Um, I'm going to include the link below, and uh, you guys let me know if you have any trouble with that or whatnot or whatever, Yana. But um, <clears throat> pretty much every single reading that I offer is going to be on there. So, And I also have an option. I know I tease my Android people, but, you know, the crowd has spoken. You know, the Android subbies have spoken. And, you know, I also have an option for you guys who cannot get Instant Go to be able to ask me an instant question. So, top of this reading. Okay, spirit me clear and direct messages from my Virgo friends, my little virgins, Virgos and whatnot, or whatever. My fellow earth signs, clear and direct messages, please, for Virgo. Wow, man, these cards are sticking. It's probably time for me to stop shuffling. Dang, they're sticking so much, I can't even cut these suckers. All right, let's see what we got going on, Virgo. Trying to bend my car in the back, y'all. Mm. Uh. My faces are priceless, are they not? Okay, this is your present energy, your challenge, your past influence, your advice going forward, your above energy, so your desired outcome, and your below energy, which is your foundational energy and what is supporting you, you know. Yells. In you guys' present energy, you have the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning and or idea, quickening of the spirit by spirit. That's my new thing. This is being challenged by the King of, I mean the King, the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck. Because, you know, we got to take our time and, you know, move fast. Um, in your past influence, you guys have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. All of my energies have been put into something that is worthy to me. Your above energy is the Five of Cups. Wow. You, really? <laughs> your, um, your below energy is the Two of Pentacles. You guys got some decisions, Mike, and an offer being made. 
And going forward, oh ho 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 ho. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, your outcome. Man, y'all just got all kinds of going zones, going zones, huh? Okay, so guys, what it's looking like to me is in the past, you guys reached, I would say, the epitome of um, the epitome of um, a situation that you have a fruitful epitome of a situation that you have um, continuously invested a great deal emotionally into. And uh, you guys kind of getting to that point, it was a really good high point for you. So I kind of explained this in the Aquarius reading, if I'm not mistaken, when I talked about the uh, the Ten of Cups with them. It's like the way that I look at the cup cards, it's like this card is literally like that point to where I have dedicated my life to this path, right? Whichever path that is for you, whether it's your career, um, if it's relationships, if it's family, what have you. Um, and I'm really kind of feeling like this has a lot to do with a person's life, like, um, almost like life purpose-ish. So you have put a lot of time, effort, and energy into something, right? And, um, you've seen a lot of return on your investment, right? We're all about ROI here at Chidu Tarot. Anyway, so you've put a lot of energy into something, you've gotten fruitful returns, and now it's like you've kind of reached um, what would be the epitome of this particular cycle. So now it's like you can kind of sit back and you can see like the fruits of your labor, like I did this, and feeling like a sense of contentment of knowing that, you know, I put a lot into this, but it's worth it because what you put out you got back in this i feel like i'm repeating myself but what you put in you got back in the sense of you being able to be um emotionally fulfilled so to speak right and um but you're not at the 10 yet but i think you guys are getting there <laughs> why do you ask oh wow this is interesting okay never mind anywho so in you guys present energy you have the ace of wands so this is like a new opportunity that presents itself right and I think it's like something that you guys are like desiring or wanting, you know, it's like a new chapter that's kind of being, well, beginning in your life, so to speak. But this is being challenged by the Knight of Pentacles, right? So, and what I get from this is, is that I feel like you guys are waiting on something. So it may be like a job, you know, maybe you have spent time, um, you know, crafting your career or mastering your craft, so to speak, or getting to a point, um, like getting to a point of confidence with yourself to where say that if there's some new business venture that you want to pursue, it's like you have, I want to say, I don't even know if y'all are going to know this terminology, but here in New Orleans, <laughs> we say that you booked yourself up. Like you literally booked yourself up to the point where you're like, I got this, like I'm ready, I'm about to step out, you know, you're coming out party, so to speak. And um, there's an opportunity that I think you guys are aware of, like I think this opportunity has already presented itself and with it being in that kind of thing, it could either be the opportunity to work with, you know, a group of people or a partner with someone specifically or it could be a job that you applied for and maybe you're still in that preliminary event. Did I say event? Preliminary um, interview phase, right? And, um, or you interviewed for the job and you feel like you slayed the interview and you really haven't heard from it yet. So I think that's kind of causing this energy. Not saying that this is what you guys desire to happen. I just really feel like you know it's a really awesome opportunity because the message is coming in slow like you guys have not heard back yet you know it's like you're starting to think the worst and that is kind of based on like past situations or maybe how things have worked out for you um in the past because that has not come yet you're kind of like you know worried <laughs> you know worried Anyway, but you're worried because you're afraid that this is going to be the situation you're in. Because the vibe that I get, y'all, is like, this is something that you legit really want on some real stuff. Like, this is something where I feel like it resonates with you totally. Like, almost that point where it's like that perfect job, you know? Like, you come across this job on 
LinkedIn or Indeed or whatever, you know, and you read the description and you're like, yo, like I've always wanted to do this or I always wanted to work there. And because you guys have not gotten, you know, you haven't heard back from uh, the company or the person or what have you, it's like you're starting to think kind of negative. Now, here's the deal. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. I'm a firm believer in the fact that what's for you is for you anyway, you know, so I don't really think that if, if something is, uh, you know, destined by spirit to be yours, that you having a bout of doubt is going to make it not manifest, you know. That's just my take on things, but um, but at the same time, you can, you know, uselessly torture yourself unnecessarily. And who wants to do that? You know, because I mean, these energies are looking good. So, um, and also with your below energy, I feel like you're starting to kind of weigh your options. So you're starting to kind of like backstep and think like, okay, so, uh. In the event, and I feel like it's like a really guarded thing, like, so in the event, like, if they call and they tell me that I didn't get the job, you know, like, what else can I do? Because, you know, I need a change, I need some fresh energy, like, what else can I do? You know what I'm saying? But with this particular card, if you look, the difference between this and the one that's in the traditional Rider Waite, because I think in the traditional Rider Waite, he's like facing, you know? But with this guy, it's like he's kind of in the state where he's weighing things out, but his ships are coming in, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something else. The reason why I believe that this little offer that you guys are getting, the reason why, oh, and BTW, I said the reason why I say that you're getting it is because in your outcome, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles. He's holding the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a coming, Buki. You know, but I really believe that the reason why um things are kind of slowed up is because thank goodness, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Mercury goes direct on the fifteenth, which is Sunday, depending on where you are in the world, you know. But yeah, so Mercury goes direct on the fifteenth. Yeah. So things are gonna start to get back to Norman. You know what I'm saying? Communication is gonna get back to Norman. And also, what I said with Aquarius was, it's like the slingshot effect. It's like throughout Mercury retrograde, we have been working like almost in a state of resistance. It's like life has taken us like I'm pulling you all the way back here and look at the details of everything that's going on in your life and reflecting on things gone past. And it's like you're almost like in slow motion. What is the name? I just heard that music in my head, like that music that they play when people are running in slow motion. It's like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, I think I'm humming that right. I guess you'd call it humming. Whatever the case, that's like what I literally just heard. And I think that's really hilarious. But that's totally how we have been working through Mercury Retrograde. <clears throat> of course, that music is rather upbeat. And I feel like that's very appropriate. Because although it's as if you've been running through resistance, it's all for good reason, man. The things that have been held up have been held up for a reason because the wonderful thing about being pulled back in a slingshot is that there's going to be a release that's going to happen. You know, when Mercury goes direct, that release is going to happen. And I said also with Aquarius, sorry, I keep bringing up Aquarius, <laughs> is that you guys are going to be slingshotted and thrusted into a new life. Like the phone calls are going to start rolling in, you know, all that good stuff. You guys will hear back from that job. You'll hear back from that person. You'll hear back about this partnership. So do not get discouraged. Don't unnecessarily torture yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you have so much stuff to celebrate right now. Like, <clears throat> if you look at this, you know, if you stop paying attention to the little, you know, um, what's the word I want to say with that? Like someone taking the wind out of your sails, like, you know, like when a, the party's over, so to speak. It's like, if you stop thinking about that situation, because he's not looking at it, you know? So I think it's the sense he's already like, you know, aware this has happened. It's like his eyes are closed and dude is in his head. Like he's not even here right now. <laughs> he's not in the past. He's not in the future. He's in the present thinking about that mess. And presently a man is drowning, okay? And I think it's so funny that card came up because y'all know how I be getting visions about cards and things when I'm not doing tarot. But I was driving in the car and I got a vision of that card and I thought to myself, you know, um, because, you know, the traditional meaning of this is talking about, you know, 
focusing on something that's lost and not noticing the new opportunity that's behind you like a two of cups kind of situation but it's like i was always like man with the after tarot <clears throat> because btw i'm not big on books you know i'm not up in here looking at cards and flipping through books trying to get interpretations that's what i got spirit for that's my book dagnabbit anyway <laughs> but um if i looked at this guy and i was just like man it's like of course this card is saying to us to to make ourselves present that it's imperative that you make yourself present but i was just like the dude that's drowning though you know what i'm saying it's like is it bring your attention to the present because there's someone who needs your help now and i was like eh but the vision that i got today and i specifically just kind of saw it honed in on this particular guy and the thing that spirit is telling me is like think about the bond that is created between two people when you save someone's life you know you feel as if you owe that person your life it's like you saved my life if it wasn't for you it's like i wouldn't still be here so it's like you feel almost a sense of um unmeasurable um unspeakable gratitude to someone because had it not been for them you would have lost your life and when i sat and thought about that i was like yo that's so extra deep and then it brings me back to those two of cups so if you think about the intensity of that union or bond which is why the two of cups doesn't always symbolize um it doesn't always I'm so sorry, y'all. My homegirl called me. I forgot to turn off my do not disturb. But anyway, like I was saying, um, <clears throat> with the two of cups, we like, you know, typically you always think that the two of cups has something to do with um, love. But this is a perfect example of why the two of cups does not always symbolize love type of relationships. But it gives you a perfect illustration of the level of of a spiritual union that can exist between two people by you being a person who saves a person so if you think about that level of intensity that overwhelming gratitude i really feel like this is what this card is saying so it's you know <clears throat> stop covering yourself don't you know raise your chin up buttercup dag nabbit you know <laughs> enjoy the present moment <clears throat> and realize that even in the event, like I say, with the Ace of Pentacles, I really do believe that you guys are going to get this opportunity, if not this one, another that's more in alignment with you. But it's kind of like put your chin up. Stop thinking about what has transpired or what has not gone your way in the past, you know, and not even focusing too much on the future <clears throat> per se, because the future does not exist unless it's folk unless it's it's the byproduct of what is happening presently so it's almost like this card is showing you that full circle of the creation of life like the space that we all exist in it's like if he were to look up and to see that this man is drowning and to save him this situation is what would manifest this two of cups it's not that he's sitting here and he's waiting and he's thinking about the past and it's like the two of cups is right there it's like oh just turn around but it's like but why if i'm so fixated on what has been that i'm ignoring what's happening right now how could i ever turn around so this gentleman right here <laughs> screaming for his life would be what caused you to turn around and i'm hearing whiskey town again whiskey town turn around why don't you turn shout out to ryan adams again somebody got this before i think it was pisces a few months ago but anywho but it is um our future is based on our present it is who you are today the choices you make today how you exist today that can determine how things manifest and matriculate into your life in the future <clears throat> So from this vision I had earlier, it's given me a whole new, and look at that, Spirit was thinking about y'all before, I mean, I was thinking about y'all, but you know, Spirit was thinking about y'all before, I literally was like, okay, I'm gonna go do this. Anyway, moving right along, <laughs> but this is showing you how important it is to live in the present. This is like, what you think about like mindfulness and things of that nature, like this is a clear illustration of why the power that we all possess <clears throat> as human beings slash spirit beings why the present is the magician's table so to speak with all of the tools laid out 
that's what the present is because your power only exists in the present god only exists in the present the only thing that we have is the now and if you want to get really freaky with it you've been living the same day since the day you were born you have been living the same day because time is something we made up so you've been living the same day your entire life only in the present the future doesn't exist the past doesn't exist and if i were to quote one of my professors from graduate school uh what is it the past is but a memory and the future is but a dream <laughs> but the only thing that exists is the now hashtag gestalt know what i'm saying but yeah guys so um i think out of all of these cards that i see i think that that is probably the most powerful message of all of this is really coming into that realization of just how powerful this very moment that you sit in front of me in front of your phone tablet or computer screen and hear these words that are coming out of my mouth that is what is important it is what you do now that will determine your life it is what you do now that will change your life it's who you are now that influences your life so i want you guys to really take that to heart i want you to really sit with that let that resonate a little bit and start to integrate that into your life of why it is every second of every single minute of every single day why those are so important it's power man it's like minute magic or something you know <laughs> minute magic so yeah yeah that's all i have to say i think that's about it i don't even know how many minutes we're at since my homegirl jelly called me and I, I i don't know the video had cut off so yeah but that's all i got for you guys man but uh your ships are coming in with your ace of pentacles and if you don't know, this is going to be an offer that's coming hella slow, but it's coming in nonetheless. And you got that good old power, you know? You got that inspiration to carry it through, but you just got to be a little patient, my bae. My little Virgo bae, you know what I'm saying? But this this new beginning that you guys are getting, it's going to last for the long haul. It's going to be long and slow, just like this good old Knight of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I love your face. <laughs> It has been a pleasure, Virgo. I will see you guys very, very soon for your love readings, you know. So, yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.